Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Luxury Podcast, your source for all things luxury and lifestyle. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special Reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I had a guest on in the past, and I liked them so much I had to bring them right on back. So today's special return guest is Josh McKim, and he is a managing partner over at Alliance Management. Josh, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks, Adam. How are you? Oh, man, so excited to hear um, from you and to get into what's been going on over at uh, Alliance Management. Um, but first, I don't want to assume that our new listeners caught your first episode. Uh, so first, if you could just tell us a little bit more about your background and how you got started in your career. So Alliance Management is actually Connecticut's leading um, golf management-specific company. We oversee uh, three and a half golf courses and are in the process of acquiring our Fourth course right now, um, and a couple. Of Congratulations, by finished. the way, that's big time. Don't just glance over that, man. That's a big deal. <laughs> Congrats. We're very excited. We're continuously growing the portfolio, um, and hopefully one day having our own self-sustaining um, luxury ecosystem that we can offer uh, seasonal pass across the entire portfolio. So uh, we're working towards that long-term goal, um, but short-term is acquire and get everything kind of up to our standards. Um, very excited with an early spring in the Northeast and a lot of rounds being played. So we're happy right now. Um, and a big shout out uh, to all of our frontline workers that are working in the pandemic right now, from the hospitals to our own staff um, that are doing a fantastic job and allowing people to play golf and enjoy an outdoor recreation in this uh, unprecedented times currently. Yeah, I um, when you told me that it was still open and obvi- obviously you can you can you know do the rules and all that good stuff, but distancing there, I was uh, I was kind of I didn't I didn't know that, um, but I was thinking, man, what an amazing thing for people to be able to go out and play. So um, I, I, again, I love that you gave a shout out to everyone that's out there working in general and obviously at front line, the people that are out on the front line. So um, let's talk a little bit more about um, just the golf business in general. So what you kind of see, I know you're. You're, you're in the middle of all of this with um, managing all these courses. What do you see as kind of the next steps in the, in the golf industry with all that's going on? This is, it, it, I hate saying it in the way that this might be overall um, a good way for the game to grow again. Um, mm. Lately, I've noticed a huge demographic change. Um, it's not our typical golfer every day at the course. A, a lot more women are playing. A lot more families are coming out. Um, mm. You know, we have a, a stay-at-home uh, executive order in the state, but golf was deemed essential for um, just the health benefits of being outside and getting exercise. Uh, so it's one of those where the game is now being kind of focused as a healthy way for people to get outside of their houses in the state of Connecticut. And we appreciate it. And it's, uh, it's good to see kids playing the game and picking up a golf club for their first time right now. Um, with all of the other sports canceled, no one in school, people need to be outside. It's one of the safest places for people to uh, kind of get out of the house and be outside and enjoy some fresh air and some sunshine. Man, that's awesome. I, I do. I mean, that that is a win. I'm gonna throw that out there. I know you didn't say it, but I'll say that's a win. Obviously, we got we have to look for whatever little sil- silver linings we can in this whole thing. I know, I know. We we yeah. know there's a lot of bad going on, but I do like to make sure that we highlight some of the good that's happening. Also, um, let's talk a little bit more about um, about what you see happening with the game overall. So there's going to be a lot of um, new people, obviously, as you mentioned, that have been coming in at least in your in your vantage from your vantage point. Um, so I, obviously. Hopefully this um, this will lead to um, obviously more memberships things like that. But uh, golf in general, do you see um, on the on the professional side of things? How do you think you see that kind of evolving? Well, and this is where I have to give the you know, governor of Connecticut a lot of credit. Um, mm-hmm. Right now, we are still hopefully hosting the Travelers Championship in June, um, which will be one of the first mm-hmm. PGA Tour events back on. Um, obviously no spectators or anything, but he stands sure. behind um, that he thinks that it's a safe and very essential business. Um, 
we maintain over 500 acres of open space across our portfolio that are, you know, what are our golf courses, but it's also one of those where they're natural parks. Um, it's 500 mm-hmm. acres that isn't being used for housing development. It's green grass, there's trees, it's open space. Um, mm-hmm. And I just have to give Governor Lamont all of the credit in the world for continuing to support golf and um, keeping people outside of the house and healthy. Man, that's huge. I love it. Um, so, Josh, that being said, um, if somebody – I know you're a busy guy right now keeping uh, keeping all this going. So if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about alliance management, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? Probably online. So www.alliancenorteast.com, and you can click on our individual portfolios. Um, we have – standalone driving ranges. We have a 45-hole largest golf complex in the Northeast. And then we also have one of the top five ranked public golf courses in the state as well. Um, That's the easiest way uh, to learn more about what we do. That's awesome. Well, hey, Josh, really appreciate you coming back on on the show and uh, carving some time out for us. I know you're, you're, um, you're busy keeping all this together, so thank you for that. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review in the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Luxury, definitely uh, give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of uh, things you're working on, what kind of projects you have going on. And Josh, thanks again for coming back on the show.